This is red maple. It's one of the soft maples that is very common in Ohio. It occurs throughout the state. Red maple have simple leaves. Each leaf typically has three lobes. Um, the sinuses or the gaps between the lobes are not very deeply cut. Occasionally these will have five lobes. You'll also notice the edge of the leaf has teeth. So you've got the major large teeth and then smaller fine teeth in between. That's what distinguishes the soft maples from the hard maples. Red maple and silver maple have the fine teeth. Sugar maple and black maple do not have fine teeth. Um, again, three to five lobes. The petiole or the leaf stalk will turn red a bit later in the year typically. And like all maples, the leaves are arranged in an opposite fashion. So you'll have one leaf on each side of the twig. Branching will be opposite. It will produce these beautiful little red flowers, clusters of drooping flowers early in the spring. They'll develop into the paired wing fruits. Those paired wing fruits um, will mature in late spring to early summer. This tree was loaded a few weeks ago and now there are no fruit left on the tree. I'm not sure if they matured already, it's June 1st, or whether the late frost actually knocked them off of this tree. This time of year it's really tough to look at buds, but a great identifying characteristic of red maple is that it'll have these rounded bright red buds that'll uh, occur the twigs will be a light brown or a gray color. Fruits on maple are paired wing fruits. We always think about them as the little helicopters you toss in the air and they spin down. Bark on red maple is smooth and gray typically when it's small in diameter. As it gets larger, it tends to flake off a bit more. It also likes really shaded conditions. It can survive and grow in almost total shade. And then as it grows, it can work its way into the canopy and dominate in the forest. Red maple, a very common species in Ohio.